Beautiful. Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I think the reason why that didn't show before in some instances was because I went in here and changed color and then it auto saves past this point where it goes and then I'm a sad face. So anyway, five secrets. This was the level I was thinking of. Now, I do believe if you just go through this door and follow the path, it'll lead to the exit door down there. So, you know, we of course don't want to do that. We want to see all the paths. All the paths. And you can take advantage of the uh, little block thing that I showed you before here. If you want to, or just, you know, fly through everything, that'll, that'll work just fine as well, but it's all up to you how you deal with the obstacles presented to you. I'm just giving you options. <laughs> um, I guess I should at least grab that for the sake of just grabbing it. I don't think I necessarily... Well, maybe I will need that. Well, we'll see. Because <laughs> I, I believe this is like a go to every sorts of place for, like... You know, to grab powers to do stuff in other areas. I think. Like, uh, yeah, okay, so this one, metal time. Yeah, 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 it's gonna be slow. <laughs> what? What? Okay. <laughs> eh. Maybe because I'm walking on it before I do the little post jab thingy. Eh. 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 Nope, I definitely wasn't walking on it that time. Okay, come on now. Pardon me! <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna try and explore everything here. I don't even need that. I'm at full health, but let's not even bother going up there if I don't have to with my incredibly slow power of flight. Okay, what's going on here? <laughs> okay, that's not... I gotta, I gotta unlock it a different way, but... <laughs> Pardon me, man! I, I, I'm, I'm sure I'm jumping jumping on the post here. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I know when I'm jumping on the post. Then again, I looked over the footage the last time. Remember when I said I, uh, uh, I thought I didn't touch the fire near the end of the last part? Well, I definitely touched the fire. I looked a little closer at it. <laughs> when I approached it, yes. Yeah, I walked into it. Alas. Alas. But in this case, I'm sure. I'm sure. That I'm hitting these posts properly. <laughs> I think the other one leads to Heavy Knight over there. Yeah, but I think also this will also lead to Heavy Knight, if I recall correctly. Eh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> eh. So I just want to see really quick. Well, okay, as quick as I can at least. Go off. <laughs> see if this breaks out the Heavy Knight. Yeah, okay. So I just. Yeah, go to the other one first, as I thought. Ugh, even climb slow. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> uh, I think I do need that. Probably. Maybe. I think the third door here has a fire obstacle. Eee, why did I fall? Uh, yes. Eee. Uh, if I had ice, this would work just fine too, but... <laughs> it's, it's so... It's so slow! <laughs> so slow! Yeah, that's the, the hammer for other areas, I suppose. Um, oh, maybe I was supposed to come here at the metal first, then get the hammer to take care of the other area a little bit easier, but... Well, we're here now. <laughs> So yeah, I was supposed to go there, probably switch to the hammer, and then go to number two. Not the bathroom number two, or door number two. Okay, so I'm gonna skip number four, then. And head through he here. Yeah, metal is not gonna work with that. Okay, so now the option is ice for the other one, then. Or maybe it just gives you multiple options. Anyway. <laughs> so, I just wanna probably wait for that to reset, so I can just do this with uh, decent smoothness for the sake of showing you how to do the all showingness. Yeah, wait for the fire a little bit, and then we get the ice. Um, well, we sort of got the ice. <laughs> Actually, maybe I should get that 
just for the sake of maybe I'll need it in another area. I'm currently without a power at the moment, so I might as well just go ahead and make sure we're all fill filled up. I did it so much better the first time. <laughs> It's too late anyway, it flew away. Actually, it was not too late, it's uh... Yeah, it would just come back if I did that. Because it they only fly away after you touch them, so yeah. And... Okay. <laughs> Who knew that such a small room would take me so long. But yeah, I don't think I actually need that, it's just for the sake of... Just in case. Yeah, we got... A baddie there. I was not paying attention at all. <laughs> okay, so I'll try and rush through this as quick as possible before I get shut out, and now let's have a good time. We could probably just stand here all day and all night. Well, sorta. Of. No, no, we can't. He doesn't get stunned anywhere close to as easily as Thoro, and he recovers a whole lot faster. You know what? I was gonna say, you know what? I'll just, just ignore the treasure chest for now and head over to freezing their attacking and just getting the power back, I should say, but no. No. Alright, I just maxed some tomato anyway. I was like, it's like, no, we came out totally even, basically. <laughs> By the end of that. Alright. We are good. In the neighborhood. And that's really, there's all to see here. I mean, there's not, not that many critters here that even appears after. <laughs> The mice get cleared out and stuff like that. But anyway, 100%. <laughs> See, I was right about door number four being the one that le led to that. But, you know, even if you took that first, it's so quick to actually just go to the end and get out of here and get back to where you were before. It's not that big of a deal or anything like that, I guess. Ooh! Animal has been upgraded! And we have. Oh, that. Oh, so I, it, I did upgrade. I mean, I did have to upgrade the sleep to. Yeah! Let's just see the scrolls really quick. Uh, Alright, that's alright, I can't check them there, so you actually gotta go to individual powers. Oh man! So yeah, I bet that's when you get the healing powers of the sleep. <sighs> anyway, boss time! This boss is like a combination of if an owl and a raccoon could have a baby. It's not possible, based on genetics and stuff like that, but... That's that's how things would roll if if it could be possible. His name is Bobo, and here we go. <laughs> so why I took the high jump was because you do a lot of this as he's doing attacks, and you just gotta be patient with him basically. Otherwise, you're gonna end up taking damage like from uh, when he swoops around on your way back and the whatnot. So yeah, just have a good time going ahead and high jumping him to his doom. He's a fiery owl of doom, but he's not that much of a doom if you've got the power of the high jump, which you're basically, like, invincible when you're using the high jump for the most part. So, yeah, it's just, just a matter of being patient. Oh man, see what I mean? I tried to triple combo him, um, but I ended up running into him. <laughs> It'll be okay though, I'm sure of it. I'll just leave Sir Kibble down there in case I need him. Who knows? Who knows? I might do it. And and I tried the quadruple combo. <laughs> Does not go all that well. Um, yeah, other stuff can do more more damage to him, like ice, because you know fire and, and all like that. But but you know it's it's a thing of how safely do you want to do this? And in this case, this is probably the safest method. <laughs> Woo! High jump of victory! By the way, the enemy that gives you the high jump is called Starman. I keep forgetting to mention that. Boss Battle Badge, of course. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Well, I would have guessed, because I've been played this game before. But anyway, <laughs> World 6 is ago. Namely, 6 1. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to see a sleepy critter to be able to show off the powers. Although I haven't been able to show off all the powers of all the stuff that I prefer so far. But I mean, I guess I could just go over all of them later on and whatnot. But I don't know, it's, it's not super, super important or anything to do so, because, you know, it's, it's just something that you'd normally just upgrade for the sake of getting a little bit of an upgrade, and it doesn't generally affect 
the, the way that you collect stuff that much, so to speak, so yeah. Anyway, let's burn through this. Yep, that's the power of the fire. You can go right through the ice sculptures. Okay, just ice blocks. You can also burn the snow on the ground, which is just a neat little detail, though. But, well, it doesn't really have any sort of effect on anything. It's sort of like when you burn the ground with that fire explody thingy thing. Whatever you want to call it, that fire and glass, and then... Yeah. <laughs> And, of course, we got the animal, because we need uh, the animal for something a little bit later on, but it's gonna take me a little bit to explore this, unless I can do my side my side attacks more properly here. I don't know why I can't do the side ones, like, is there some, something that I'm doing differently compared to other, other things? I'm trying to practice the side thing, <laughs> like, if I press it down, it goes so smoothly, but going over... Okay, that worked. Going over to the right. Maybe it's like... Maybe I'm like off time with my... I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I'm just gonna explore all the paths. All the snow. All that I can, basically. <laughs> Bye-bye, Waddle Dee. These, these switches, uh, for the most part, they don't really... have that much of a purpose, especially if you have the animal power. I mean, yeah, if you didn't have the animal, you wouldn't be able to dig through this, but... <laughs> you get what I mean! In, in that, yeah, but anyway, um, speed that along. Did you see what I did to the switch there? Um, normally, that switch would be off up on the top area there, but I made it fall down to the ground. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how the switches work. Maybe the remote or something like that, but... Basically, when you move the switch down here, it makes getting this treasure chest that much easier. Aha! Wait, actually, actually just do that. Uh-huh. So that's kind of the idea of that one. Otherwise, you have to, to run the gauntlet there, and I don't think there's enough time to pull that off. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead. Hmm. There's gotta be something that I'm doing. Maybe it's just like hold while you're in mid-air? No? Oh, maybe it is. Oh, it is! Oh! So I'm just like doing taps, like when I do running attacks. Oh, so if I just go... Ah! <laughs> all this time. All this time. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Everything's cleared out good enough. Whee! So I think because I'm holding down... When I, whoops. When I go through there, like when I'm going straight down, I, I was doing the proper move of, yeah, that dealio. But when I'm moving off to the side, I'm just doing all these tappy taps like this. Instead of I should be just holding it. Like wait. Yeah, like that. <laughs> I'm used to doing like a, a double run, like like this and then a jump to get more of a control jump, but anyway. Alright. Uh probably actually for real Z's should switch to the parasol for once. And yeah, like I said, in the areas that the parasol is given to you, it gives you the like the ability to get through things a little bit easier in that regard. But for, for other areas, not so much. Anyway, to get through this, you want to kind of bonk your head on that. This is kind of difficult to use your umbrella to get through that. And yeah, but you want you still, as I said, I want the umbrella probably, probably. Although it's probably maybe a smidge slower than you would prefer. Oh dang it! Oh laser ball! Now I want. Say now I want to switch. Well, do I want to switch? Because I still see ice icicles. I'll, I'll switch and see. Because I could still. I think I can hit the icicles down. Yeah. Just as long as I break the stuff off the floor first. Yeah. Like a pro. Oh, what up? Sleep. New sleep power. Upgraded. We can show it. You can watch the health. Watch the health. Yeah. There's a use for sleep. There's a use. For sleep, and I <laughs> respawn the laser ball. But oh, I actually should have also did this. Show the extra. Yeah, see that? You don't see any sort of difference, interestingly, on your upgrade screen, you know, with the red scroll there, but it's there! I'm sure you it's there. You see it. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of this and la laser ball, I say. <laughs> Oh. Or maybe not. <laughs> uh, I think there's a candy in here. Yep. Uh, I guess I'll... 
actually just go and switch that out. I think that's gonna be more useful for this area. I don't need that. I think there's a button in here. Yep. Bun is just hanging out there if you want the powers of the throw, but nah. Nah, we're okay. Metal. Eh, I don't remember if I need that. I don't remember. I'm gonna say no, just for the sake of speed. <laughs> okay, I'm right. <laughs> just imagine getting through this gauntlet as metal. Alright, you guys are just gonna... It's gonna cut, try and cause me issue, but well, um, um, you know what? You, you can, you can. I'll, I'll let you let you have a chance again here. I'll <laughs> just for the sake of sakes. Let's just see what's in here. Oops. See, it's like I give him more of a chance, and he they be, they betray me. Like I'm not I'm not taking on one one on one anymore. No. No, I'm taking you on inside my lair with the baddies all over the place, so I don't care. And then it's over. <laughs> I'll just get a couple pieces of food here, and then we're done. <laughs> Could you imagine though if I if I left without grabbing the treasure chest? That would be a tragedy. Alright, we're good. And this is how the place goes, if you're hanging out over here. Now, why was I pressing the jump button there? You don't fly with the jump button as Cupid. <laughs> you just go, I'm not aiming for the maximum for fun, Oh, You just go with the D-pad like you're swimming in the air. Alright. And that is another level 100% completed. What do we get? Yeah, upgrade to the sword. Ooh, ooh, plus, you know graphic pieces and stuff like that. But anyway, anyway, with that, I'm going to end off part here. And I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we go to 6-2 and beyond, baby!